YouTube, it's your boy D Rose, man, and I'm coming back at y'all with a video. I know it's been a minute with these type of videos, man, but I've been chilling, I've been grinding, I've been getting to that bag, man, I've been getting it in. Sorry, I ain't got my tripod, man. My son broke it right now. I'm recording from my little one of my little gaming desks, man, the PS5. But nevertheless, man, let's get back to where we came here from. All right, man, this video is really gonna be. The five-year ownership of this gun that I, I bought this gun back in 2018. The first Gen 5s came out in 2017. They don't have the front slide serrations. They only had the back ones. Excuse me. As you can see, no cap. Gen 5. Ain't got no uh MOS on this one. Don't need it. I can use the iron sights. I done shot this gun thousands of times, put thousands of rounds to it. I'm accurate with it. I will put something down with it, God forbid, but got, uh, damn, it didn't came off. I was just finna tell you, the medium beaver tail on there, I've been rocking that, but we'll put that back on later. Oh, we can see if we can get it on right now. Rocking this medium beaver tail on there. Fish it good in the hand, man. But I put a lot of rounds through this gun. It's a workhorse. I shoot it a lot before I clean it. I need to know if my gun gonna be reliable. It gotta be it can get a little dirty and gritty. You know what I'm saying? You're spending money on these guns. You want to know if these guns can actually function under pressure and not just when they oiled and cleaned up. I'm finna put my guns to work. I'm finna see how they work, how they shoot. I ain't did no crazy torture test, but I didn't shot it, shot it, shot it, shot it without cleaning it. I still ain't cleaned it probably in a minute. And I didn't put a lot of rounds, three, four hundred rounds. I still ain't cleaned it since the last cleaning. And it didn't ran, man. I'm gonna keep going. Probably put a thousand rounds through it before I clean it. I'm gonna put some rounds through it. You know what I'm saying? Might oil it up, help the slide, you know, but other than that. You know, I'm going to put my guns to work, man. I actually tote these guns and carry them. You can see the wear and tear on the slide, man. From all that carrying over the years. Gun is accurate. It's reliable. Yes, I trust it with my life. Yes. I'm thinking about getting a Gen 5 19 MOS. Or the Glock 45 MOS. I still ain't made my mind up yet, but... Back to the gun, man. So, fit good in the hand. I don't got the biggest hands, but as you can see, man, it's just fit good. Then broke the trigger in. The trigger's still good. It still works. still do everything it's supposed to do. Initially, coming out of the box, it just came with these three magazines. Uh, 15 plus one. This is my carry ammunition plus P ammunition, defense ammo. Yeah, but, uh, you know, the three mags, man, these are the newer mags with the uh, orange, uh, you know, follow up or whatever. I wouldn't got a little 17 plus one mag, give it 18 shots. Thinking about adding a plus five base plate to one of these, give it, you know, what is that? 15 plus five, 20, 20 more shots. Of course, gotta have a 33 round mag. Can't have enough ammunition. And all my mags is Glock mags. And, you know, Glock factory mags. I know the P mags work real well in the Glocks. P mags is real popular when it comes to ARs. Everybody use P mags for ARs. So they use, you know, they just as reliable for the Glocks. I was up there at Bass Pro Shop today looking at 21 round. It was $18. I thought about getting it. I might go back and get it. 21 round. I know they got a 24 rounder. By Glock. The official Glock 24 rounder. That's kind of, you know, hit and miss finding that. But you got like the Elite Tactical mag. You got different mags that's reliable. Elite Tactical system mags. P mags. You got regular Glock mags. I wouldn't use a Pro mag. There's a difference. You got P mags and Pro mags. I would not use a Pro mag. 
but I will use a P-Mag. P-Mag, the reliable. They damn near closest thing you will get to a Glock factory mag. So if you're going to carry something other than a Glock factory mag, bro, P-Mag is the way to go, or Elite Tactical. Now, I got this gun back in 2018. It's going on five years. I'm not going to get rid of it. I don't plan on getting rid of it. The newer Glocks, the newer Glocks I do know don't have this cutout right here. It's just come down and it's flared with the newer uh, uh, what is it? Glock um, 19 Gen 5 with the front slide serrations and then the flare mag too. I do know that. So Mommy driving it, man. It's a gun. But, yeah, man. I just kind of wanted y'all to give an update. Is the gun worth it? Yes, it's worth it. Everybody got their brand of guns. I love Glocks. I mo got multiple of them. I'm a Glock fanboy. Call me what you want. I might get the Glock symbol tattooed on me. No telling. <laughs> But I got different brands too, though. But my Glock, me personally, it's reliable. I can trust it. My life on the line. I feel like I could be accurate with this. I could protect myself, protect my family, whatever the case may be. Mm, I got a light. It's a laser light combo, green laser. But it's always done. I paid about $120 for it, maybe three years ago and it's always dying fast probably last maybe one or two months then it dies so i'm not really big on that like thinking about you know right now on my guns i'm just more so i'm done buying guns for the moment because i got enough i got a lot of them more about upgrading them making them better you know more, you know Get them to how I want them to be, adding accessories. So I might get a light, a little TL, TLR light or something, seven or something. May pop out the trigger, put a Apex or Timney, I don't know, or even the Glock factory. Uh, they got the, you know, they got the enhancement triggers for Glock now, made by Glock. Heard them make a big difference. So I'm still weighing my options. That one is only ninety nine dollars. That's not a bad upgrade. You know, them triggers can get expensive, but you can get a good trigger for. Ninety, hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? It's just the you know, you know your preference. But uh, yeah, man. I don't know. Other than that, man, it ain't really too much. I know what it is. It's a G Lock, man. America's gun. They just like the Dallas Cowboys. So many people love them. So somebody got it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people hate them. So a lot of people love them. They, some people hate them. Probably one of the most bought. Firearms in the United States, everywhere. Glocks, for price point, you know, you get a brand new Glock, six, seven hundred, six to seven hundred dollars. I didn't pay thousand, eleven hundred dollars for my FN, so you definitely on the cheaper side. You know, you getting, you know what you're getting with a Glock at the end of the day. Reliable gun. They got the MOS Glocks now. You can, I can get this milled, but I can go buy an aftermarket slide, MOS. You know what I'm saying? I can do that. I can get a threaded burl if I want to. I can add all that. I can put a light on there. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's upgradable. But for the meantime, man, I've been rocking with that bad boy like this. At the end of the day, it's going to come down. No matter what you got on the gun, it's going to come down to the shooter and if you're able to hit your shots. So, yeah. But that's it, man. I ain't want to go too crazy on the vid. I'm going to be reaching 10 minutes. But this is my five-year review on the Glock. Do I feel like it's worth it? Yes. Would I recommend it? Yes. You even got to go with the Gen 5, Gen 3, Gen 4. If I can get my hand, if I didn't have this, and I had to choose out of Gen 3 or Gen 4. I'm going to take that Gen 3. I'm going to take that Gen 4. It don't matter which Gen. I feel like from the Gen 3s and up, man. Hey, 
And you can get the Gen 3s and 4s cheaper than the Gen 5s now. Well, obviously, but, I mean, it's all up to you, man. You know, like I said, perfect size for me. Get the job done, you know. So, put this magazine in. You know, that's with the flush mag right there. Here, no more guns, man. You know. With, you know, a little, little stick out a little bit with the uh, 17 plus one. Put that stick in there. You see that stick? Yes, sir. 33 round mag, baby. So, man, yeah, that's it, man, for the vid. You know. uh, sorry, moving all that camera, man. I just I ain't trying to put all that on YouTube. But, yeah, man, I'm going to wrap it up. It's your boy D Rose, man. I'm checking out, man. I'm coming back soon with another video. I'm out, gang. Peace.